Hello and welcome to my channel on the hook crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style and let's find out what's been on the hook. I have finally finished my summer cottage cardi and the pattern will be coming out later this week. I'm putting some uh, final touches on it. I'm going through it making sure that the uh, instructions are clear so it will take me a few days to get finished with that and I will have that out by the end of the week. Be sure to click the link in the description box and to sign up is free and this way you get the uh, substantial discount codes that come out when my patterns come out so be sure to use one of those if you're going to buy a pattern and you can also buy any pattern in the shop with that discount code during its uh, offer code time so it will be good for a couple of weeks and so you can buy any pattern that you'd like from my Etsy shop now as uh, let me quickly show you my cardigan because I'm all finished with it I have tied in all the ends which is very important and let me stand up and show this to you well, here I am in my summer cottage cardi I love this is so comfortable and I'll show you in a minute what I made this from if you're not familiar with the two yarns that I used I held them together so that the cardi would be substantial but it's not hot I didn't uh, put long sleeves in it of course that's optional you can use long sleeves if you want you just add more rows which is very very easy to do I'm wearing this with a pair of jeans and very casual white tank top underneath and you could also wear it with a color and coordinate that with the colors that you use in the yarns that you choose so let me turn around I'll show you the back it's just a very comfortable cardi. It's not all that long. And of course, that is optional. You can make this as long as you want. Uh, that is totally up to you. The measurement from the on, underarm to the hem is up to you. As you know, I added some ribbing around the neck and around the bottom of the, the cardi. So I didn't initially make it as long as I would have otherwise, but the ribbing is about two inches. And of course that's optional too. You can either make the ribbing or not. And you can also make the ribbing as wide as you want. So you just add more rows and the ribbing gets bigger and bigger. And again, I will tell you that what I did with this cardi at first, I uh, made the cardigan too narrow and I had already crocheted from the front to the back many rows probably this many rows maybe about like that and i'd already shaped it and everything it looked like it was going to be just fine and then i tried it on which you have to do with my patterns you try on your sweater to be sure that it's going to fit you while you're making it so what i did was i decided to add more rows to the sides and you can do that after you finish the cardigan for the most part i mean before you put the sleeves in and the ribbing on you can decide how wide you want your cardigan if it's not quite wide enough you can add more rows onto the edges and make it come over a little bit farther that way it will meet in the front and this was pretty close before i put the ribbing on but after i put the ribbing on it turned out perfectly so you have to just try on your sweater it's very very important to do that so uh, this pattern will be coming out on either Thursday or Friday, Saturday, at the end of the week, and you will receive an email in your inbox if you're a member of the community. And that way you'll know that it's been released, it's on Etsy, and that you have a discount code that you can use for this pattern or any pattern in my shop. As a segue into my coffee break sweater, Pamela's Adoring Crochet, Pamela there, uh, actually did a video about a coffee break sweater that she made and I'll put the link right down in the description box for you to click on and go over and watch this. Um, she actually made my coffee break sweater. She used different colors, different yarn, just like I suggest in my patterns. Always select the yarn that you want. It's not the yarn that I want, but you can also use different size yarns and different size hooks. So I don't know what size hook Pamela used. She didn't mention that, but she did use cream cotton. I have some of this left from another project. I used it to make my golden cross sweater. And is this the most comfortable sweater in the world? I really love it. I really love it. And it's the softest yarn. But you know what? I bought this last year and there are 432 yards. And I think there are fewer yards on this and it costs the same this year. So that's the way everything goes nowadays. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get the next year. But I made mine out of mustard. I made the golden cross out of the mustard color. 
They may not or may have that color now, I don't know. And I made another golden cross out of the mint color. And of course, this is very, very soft. And the reason that it's soft is because it's 87% cotton and 13% nylon. When you add nylon to a yarn, it makes the yarn so soft and squishy. That's why they uh, wind nylon into the yarns for socks because they're very, very soft and they're squishy and they're very forgiving. So uh, this is a great yarn to make the coffee break out of. She made hers out of pink and gray. It was so beautiful. Pamela, you look great in it. The second and third time you make it, you mentioned you might make it again. Um, you'll make those adjustments at the armhole to decide how long you want it right here. It takes a couple of sweaters to really get the hang of that because these uh, patterns are just for your measurements and everybody is a different length from here to the hem that they want or that they are and a different width around the bottom. Everybody is different. And so my sweaters are not sized and you'll find that if you pick one up, you'll know that uh, it's made just for you by you. The way I focus my patterns is that they will fit you. They won't fit your mother or your sister unless you're the same exact size. So that's how I design my patterns. Also, again, a, a small note for the summer cottage cardi. These are the, the yarns that I used. I held these together. This is the Comfy Cotton by Lion Brand. This is the Dotted Line by Lion Brand. Has now been discontinued. You can still get it on Amazon. But I think that a size 2 of any yarn would be just fine. Held together with Comfy Cotton. You want them to be made from the same materials. So that way when you wash it, it should come out okay. So just a quick note. And here are the, the bands for this. Comfy Cotton blend. You can find this at... Um, lots of big box stores and online by from line brand and other from amazon i think carries it as well and then blue thunder dotted line which is so hard to find now i did see it on amazon but it was i think very expensive so let me get that up there where you can see it it's called dotted line by line brand and this they actually have discontinued it and i really hate that but you know companies make decisions they have to make so that's a little bit about my summer cottage cardi about pam's adoring crochet and pam thank you again for that beautiful video i'm really appreciated and i hope that some of you might try my patterns even though they look kind of odd because they don't come in sizes but if you measure the way I direct you in the pattern, you should be able to make a sweater that fits you just fine. So again, thank you, Pam. I'll put the link to her video down in the description box and you can subscribe to her channel as well. Be sure to do that. And that way we can all um, share with each other. So thank you, Pam, again for that beautiful video. Today is a big day for On The Hook Crochet. We uh, made it to 10,000 subscribers, so I'm giving away a Persian Tiles Throw kit, and it's uh, from Mary Maxim. It's never been opened, and so uh, it's just for the winner of today's giveaway, and I want you to stay tuned for that. I'll do that here in just a couple of minutes, but before I do, I want to show you the progress I've made on my Persian Tiles Throw. Now, I'm going to tell you that this is the bag that I have mine in. I've shown this before, but I have to show it again. This is a bag that Joe for Totes made for me, and uh, Joe at Joe for Totes, I should say. Very beautiful bag. It has so many beautiful things things about it and I've shown you that in the last video or two I was just so excited about this but it's so large and I I really like the larger bags because my projects are always either sweaters or in this case it's a throw from Mary Maxim and this is a Persian tiles throw as well this is in a different colorway than the one I'm giving away today because it was this one was not available this throw was not available so I had to um choose a different color and I did choose the original color that the designer actually used to create the, the Persian tiles throw. So it's what the designer had in mind and it's probably quite gorgeous and I'll show you a picture of that in just a minute. But my Persian tiles throw, I've been keeping up on Instagram showing some uh, photos of my progress. Now I'm making this assembly line. There were 16 octagons and the original octagon is in one of my here it is. This is the original octagon. If you haven't seen this, this is actually quite gorgeous. Not my crochet skills, but just the pattern and the, the beautiful colors that are used in this octagon. 
you know, I'm showing you the wrong side. <laughs> this is the one with the uh, cross treble stitch or, uh, you know, that's what I call it. It's a cross treble stitch and um, it's not difficult to do, but it is a design element which she connects all the different shapes of the Persian tiles throw together with that design element and plus, the, of course, the gorgeous colors in different order on different octagons. You crochet eight octagons in this color order and instead of doing one at a time, as I have explained, I'm going to do these assembly lines. So I do all this, all this, all this, all this for 16 rows. And then when I'm done, I'll be done with the octagons. And we'll just have to move on to the smaller um, motifs that are in this particular throw. So that is the original one that I made in order to make sure that I could follow the pattern, that it was clear and that it, it turned out right. And it was. It was quite a lovely pattern. It's very easy to do. Um, if you're an, an advanced beginner, maybe. Um, but anyway, that is the color order for eight of the octagons. I made one, so I have to make seven more of those. And this is what those look like as I'm progressing through. I am now on the second row of the fans, which is this. The fans are this piece. And on the next row, and I'll show you this, the fans will be connected together with the next row. But as you create them, they're created two or three inches apart, like this, in alternating colors. And then you connect them on the next row, and they kind of roll over and fit together like that. So that'll be the next row that I do. Whoops. <laughs> that'll be the next row that I do. This is the colorway for the eight octagons that I have to make. So I have seven more of these, or seven of these, just like that. Along with that, I will make four of these in this color order and they're a little bit different from the others as you can see hold it up here it's a little bit different from that it's using some of the same colors but they're in a different order these of course will be connected in the next row so this is what this particular uh, round i should say round i'm not ma making myself clear these are rounds and then these little fans are separately done they're not connected except in one little spot right here so you make these separate and you put them in certain places along this last row and this is the final color order right here and it's using more blues and charcoal around here and these two will fit together like that let me get them together on the next row so and this will come over here and fit this one so i hope i've made myself clear about what i'm doing here i'm doing them assembly line style so I'm making four of these, four of these, and then I have to make seven more of these of the original that I made the original octagon from. And then I have all of these, and these are the progress that I've made. I am finished with the fans on all the octagons. Look at that. <laughs> I worked all weekend on this because I wanted to get some substantial uh, work done on this throw because I want to finish it. I really do. And Mr. On the Hook wants to hang it in the front foyer. He doesn't want us lying around on it because he says it's a work of art. I think he's a little bit worried about leaving it on our sofa. So he wants to hang it up. And I'm going to encourage that, I think, because I have put in a lot of hours on this. And I'm not sure I want to use it just as a throw. So I'll probably hang it up as a work of art, which it is. So here are all the colors that are in this particular throw. They're quite gorgeous. Look at that. I just dropped my crochet hook, but I'll get it later. Look at all those. I have plenty of yarn yet left. I'm thinking that it will take a lot of yarn to go around the throw and between the octagons and the squares and the triangles. So I will need all that yarn probably. <laughs> and that's okay because I'm trusting that all the yarn will be plentiful enough to allow me to finish the throw and get that hung up on the wall. So I'm keeping you up with the progress and I'm excited about it. It's, it's, a, it's a really nice throw. I can't say enough about it because the pattern is easy to follow. Before we select the winner, I'm going to show you the, th the throw. Here it is. And that is a picture of, let me get it up here where you can see it. This is what the throw looks like. This is the dark blue colorway on Mary Maxim. There is a, um, mine is the sandalwood 
and this is the dark blue and there's also a light blue as well so you have three choices on Mary Maxim I am not sponsored by Mary Maxim at all somebody asked me that <laughs> no I am not I just love this idea and it was a nice thing to do for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway so I thought you know what I'm just gonna give one big one big prize for that and then we're gonna continue to do some giveaways so don't give up if you don't win um, whoever wins this I'll be congratulating them heavily because this is a very special gift and here it is again this is the Persian tiles throw kit by Mary Maxim designed by Janie Crowfoot so let's turn the camera to the computer and find out who wins this Persian tiles throw here we are at the computer there is the URL from the two weeks ago video that I did and asked you to put a comment down below the video with my name in the comment and my name is Jeannie J-E-A-N-N-E -N -N -E. that's like Jeannie in the bottle but it's not ha it doesn't have an I in it <laughs> it's kind of tricky so it's Jeannie J-E-A-N-N-E -N -N -E. and let's find out how many people actually did that and use the right spelling that is here we go we're still going Wow 675 comments had this word in the comment so 675 people were in line for this giveaway thank you so much for participating I appreciate y'all more than you know all right let's start and let's find out who wins the Persian tiles throw Cynthia Ringler Cynthia Ringler Oh, here is my name right here in her comment. Cynthia Ringler, you are the winner of the Persian Tiles Throw Kit. I'm so excited. Thank you for participating, everyone. Congratulate, Cynthia, because, you know, you might be a winner next week. You never know. So, Cynthia, congratulations, and thank you, everyone, for participating and celebrating my milestone. Thank you so much. Cynthia, congratulations. I'm just excited to give that away. I... I'm going to miss it. It's been sitting in my office for a couple of weeks, and I've just loved to look at it. I love the colors, and if it wasn't um, such a big project, I would probably order one for myself. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I might just hope that Cynthia will send me a picture of her throw when she finishes it. So as you can follow along with my progress, you might see that you want to order one. Let me, not, not sponsored. I am not sponsored by Mary Maxim, Janie Crowfoot, or anybody. I just really like this Persian Tiles throw. And it's not huge either. It's supposed to be about 46 by 46. So it's about like that. Get my hands out here. It's about 46 by 46. And mine's, mine's going to be a little bit bigger because I crochet a tiny bit looser than many people. So I'll probably have a 50 inch throw or maybe a 60 inch throw by the time I finish. And of course, I'll keep you up on my progress because this is a big project and it's an ongoing project on my channel. So be sure to tune in and I will probably talk about it on most of my videos because I'm planning to try to get this done. So I'm making progress on it every single week. I want to show y'all something special that I'm working on. I mentioned it in my last video and I want to show it to you again. I'm almost finished with it. So I'm going to take the camera to my uh, workstation and I'm going to show you what I'm working on. I want to show you what I'm working on here. This is the Four Seasons Sparkle. I actually bought this at Mary Maxim. I'm not sponsored of course but I wanted to show this to you. This is a diamond painting and I'm going to get down here where you can see the sparkle on this. This is so beautiful. Let me get down here right on it. That's some great focus on this iPhone. <laughs> um, this is uh, the round, actually the round drills they call them. These are um, some special ones right here that are supposed to sparkle, but they're hard to see. I want to get this over here where you can see it. These are separate little resin pieces, and here's one right here. Let me get it on my finger. This is what it looks like. This tiny little thing. Let me get it to where it will focus. And you can kind of see that. So these are round drills, they're called. And here's a picture of some that I spilled. <laughs> so you can see them on my table. But I 
you actually take a little pen and you touch them to a glue canvas and th there's glue underneath the tree but not here this is a background that's been printed on by the company and I plan to make a video about this. This has been so much fun, and I'm going to take this up as a hobby. I know that I have a lot of hobbies, but this is a fun hobby that most anyone can do. This is not a skill that you have to acquire over a long period of time like crochet and knitting. This is a skill that you can actually acquire after you've done uh, one or two or three or four of these paintings. You'll get a really fast skill at putting these drills on the canvas. And I just love this. This is a beautiful one. This is the piece that I haven't finished yet. And I still have this under plastic. And see there's some sticky. See that's sticky right there. And this is the piece that I have not finished yet. But I have finished these three. And I'll get a picture of the whole thing here. Let me get out here where you can see it almost right there isn't that beautiful and i will i'm planning to f frame this i really do think that framing this would make it um, very very special for me because it's the first diamond painting that i've ever done and i think i selected a good one i really like this it's got lots of colors 37 colors in this particular painting and it means something there are the the spring summer fall and winter trees and i just really think it's beautiful Again, I ordered this from Mary Maxim. She has lots of different diamond dot pictures. And I'm going to concentrate on very classic art, some whimsical art like this. There are lots of other kinds of art, but those are the ones that I want to concentrate on. So this is my first attempt at diamond painting. It turned out very, very well. The lines are straight because I spent a lot of time making sure they were straight. I mean, and over time, you learn to just put the drills in there, or the diamond dots, in there straight. And it's not difficult to do. And I know I always say that, but I really mean that about this. This is something that um, you can do, your husband can do, your, your teenagers can do. I wouldn't give it to children to do too much, but I think it's a, a wonderful hobby. And this way you can do something artistic and beautiful. Put it up on your wall and enjoy it in your home. I just think it's a great hobby. And all of a sudden it's gotten really trendy and hot as a hobby. So there are lots of companies that produce these paintings and I'm going to be looking at those. And I plan to do some videos about this, but I just wanted to introduce my crochet followers about this and let you see what's available out there. It's a fun hobby to do. So be looking for that video. I'll tell you when it comes out. I'll send a notification out and you'll know when the video comes out. And I'll be doing a giveaway the first week or two because I'm expecting a diamond painting from a company who wanted me to open it on air. They wanted me to do a video about it and to work on it and to also have a giveaway of a really nice diamond painting kit. So I'll let you know when that happens. Now let's get back to our crochet program. I hope you enjoyed that little segue into my diamond painting hobby. I love it. I'm excited about it. And I'll, you'll be hearing more about that in the future. Now for my giveaway next week, next Monday, I'm going to pick three winners. Each winner will win a crochet magazine. So these are the three magazines I'm giving away. I receive these as doubles and triples in my mailbox. So I'm giving these away to my subscribers. So here's the first one, Crochet World. I think I've already given this away once, but another one came in. I had my own copy, and so I'm giving this one away. This is for April of 2021, a really nice magazine. It's a spring magazine, so it has all the beautiful spring and summer items in there including pillows and scarves and let's take a look i just want to quickly show you what's in here it's um, it's good to see what's in the actual magazine there are some really pretty designs in here i like the pillow that was on the front i think that's really cute that would look really pretty on an outdoor porch or even in your living room i think that is so pretty and springy there are lots of other things in here that let me get that up there where you can see it i'm sorry i'm so far back here there's another pillow right there isn't that pretty 
There's some beautiful things in this magazine. All those patterns are actually in the magazine. So if you win this, you'll have all those patterns and a brand new copy of Crochet World. So this will go to giveaway winner number one. Giveaway winner number two will receive the Defining Crochet, Crochet Magazine. I like this one too. I have my own copy. And giveaway winner number two will win a copy of this magazine. And one thing I wanted to point out in here, there are lots of beautiful patterns in here as well, but just this, just fun. Annie's has a Moroccan tile afghan right here. Let me get that up there where you can see it. She is offering this one, and this is different. This is a different process, a different process altogether. She is offering this as a 10-month subscription. So it contains all the yarn and the patterns and the online tutorials to crochet the afghan. So if you like to do that by the month, once a month for 10 months, I don't know what the cost is. It doesn't say it in the magazine. So you'll have to go online and just see. It's at kitclubsavings.com. And that's a place where you can go and see about this Moroccan tiles. That's an alternative to the Persian tiles, I guess. They're very similar, very beautifully done. This magazine is the summer of 2021, so it has all the summery patterns in here. And frankly, I don't know if I've given one of these away yet. I think I received three of these, and two of them are going to my subscribers next week. So here are all the patterns that are in this particular magazine. And you can see there are lots of summer tops in there. All these are summer tops. And lots of other things. A baby blanket here that I really like. It's beautifully done. It's called the baby blanket of many colors. And look at that. Let me let me turn this back so you can see it. How beautiful is that? That is so beautiful. And it's made with Premier Yarn Sweet Rolls. There are a lot of different colors in the Sweet Rolls. And I think you have to buy quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, five or six of them. That's a lot of Sweet Rolls. But you could also use the other pieces to make a baby, uh, to make a little pillow for the baby's room or something like that. So I like this. It's very springy and beautiful. If you have a baby in your family coming or someone in your church, you can make that for the little baby for a summer or spring baby that's going to arrive. Here's another spring top that I really like. This is pretty. This is made from Omega Mimosa Fine. It's a number two yarn, so it's going to take you a long time to make that. But it's very beautiful. It's a size F crochet hook that you use on this. It's a size two yarn. So uh, if you want a real challenge, it says that it's easy to make. So maybe it is. I don't know. But this is an example of something that you could wear in the spring and summer that's very, very light, made out of a number two yarn all by itself. Not like this, and this one is combined with comfy cotton, which is a number three. So you have a two and a three together. It might be more like a five. Winner number two will receive that magazine, and winner number three will receive the other one, just like it. So I have two of these and a crochet world that will go out next week to a giveaway winner. So be sure you sign up. The keyword is summer. S-U-M-M-E-R, because that's where we're headed right now. We're headed for summer and time to do some summer crochet. Well, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you so much. Congratulations to Cynthia, who is the winner of the Persian Tiles Throw. Next week, we'll be picking three winners for the Crochet Magazine, so be sure to tune in for that. Be sure to join the community. Subscribe, like, share, do all those things that help the YouTubers uh, move forward. And be sure to go to Pamela's Adoring Crochet and watch her video about the Coffee Break sweater. I'm excited. I'm very honored that she did that. And thank you, Pamela, so very much. That link will be down in the description box. So I hope you have a wonderful week. I will be back toward the end of the week with another video. So be sure to tune in then. And let's find out what's on the hook.